What is up? This is your LA in a minute. And chances are, if you live in Los Angeles, you have noticed an explosion of purple recently on the sidewalks, in the streets, and probably on your social media. The reason? These beautiful jacaranda trees with their lavender and purple flowers. Let's get into the history of why these trees are so important in the development of Los Angeles and how this non-native plant ended up taking over our imaginations. Let's get into it. Much like that other quintessential Los Angeles tree, the palm tree, the jacaranda is not native to Los Angeles. They're originally from Bolivia and Argentina and were transplanted here by famed horticulturalist Kate Sessions in 1892. And like the rest of us, they've really taken a liking to Los Angeles. This is what a canopy of jacarandas looks like in full bloom. I mean, these things are absolutely stunning. This little guy in Hollywood just is a standout tree. Though there are 148,000 jacarandas in Los Angeles, they are not the most common. That would be the Italian cypress with 450,000. That said, they are definitely the most distinctive. Possibly the only people that aren't excited by jacaranda season are the people who live with the trees at their homes. These bulbs fall in a uniform fashion and they are very sticky and tough to clean up from the ground, the sidewalk, and the street. So these trees had a ton of help propagating. According to DJ Waldy, who wrote the seminal novel Holy Land about Los Angeles' first planned suburb, Lakewood, they were consciously planted to represent exoticism with their purple, lavender, and even blue bulbs to counteract the uninteresting uniformity of the suburbs. So I guess, like many Angelinos, these non-natives have found a home here in LA. All right, LA, it's been a minute.